described by the theory of relativity, time is relative, which basically means the faster you go, the slower you experience time. But in the universe, the speed at which you can go seems to be capped. It's the speed of light. At least as we understand it, nothing can go faster than the speed of light. And the reason for this is because light is made up of photons, which are massless particles, and that's why they can travel at an uncapped speed. So how do photons experience time? Well, they don't. At those speeds, the effects of time dilation become infinite. And so to a photon, from the moment the beginning of the universe happened to now, that photon has experienced no time. So this means, or at least appears to mean, that our experience of time is an experience created by our minds. Time does exist, but our experience of it isn't a fully encompassing view of it. Just because we observe it this way, it doesn't necessarily mean that it objectively exists in this way. So this concept is a frontier of modern science, and there's many ways to explain it, but one of the ideas is the block universe theory, which basically describes all of time and all of our three dimensions as one continuous 4D object. Going back to that proton that doesn't experience time, it actually does experience time all at once. And so because of this, modern physics basically suggests that all moments in time are equally real and exist in a higher fourth dimension. Basically, our universe, all space and all of time, would exist as one full object, and the present moment is a cross-section of that entire object. So the present moment that you're experiencing right now is, at least according to modern theories, a 3D cross-section of an entire 4D shape. Whenever you hear the term space-time, that is what it's referring to. One continuous fabric of three spatial dimensions and one dimension of time. Or at least that's what the best and most accurate mathematical theories we have today describe. 